on guys welcome to another vlog today I'm gonna start my morning off with a little meditation my type of meditation is the first half of the meditation is usually where I actually meditate I clear my brain of everything about life the second half after I do that um, I try to think productively I try to get some creative ideas um, and yeah and if I do then I write them down I want to go get a banana look at these bananas I don't fucks with these kind of bananas. If they have brown spots on them, I don't eat that. I'm not supposed to be like healthier to eat um, bananas with brown spots in them, but I, I just don't like the. I don't like how soggy they are and soft they are. I have to do laundry. <sighs> Bitch. What's going on, Braden? Nothing. Welcome to the vlog, kid. These guys. These guys keep up with the vlogs. Hey, what's going on, Parker? <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Did you guys see Gavin's The New United Days video? No. Oh, dude, it's crazy. What's it about? Gavin Gavin came out. No. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, okay. Gavin didn't actually come out. What the heck? Isn't that crazy? What? Is, does he actually say it? Huh? Does he actually say it? Yeah. He uploaded it last night. Last night? Did yeah. you know? I didn't really know, no. This is how he told us all. Not even his brother? No. That'd be embarrassing. It's crazy. What? As you can tell by the title, I am coming out as somebody who pours the milk before the cereal. <laughs> that is pretty weird though. Oh, come on, what? <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell grandma about this. Yeah, no, don't tell anybody. I won't anybody. tell anybody about this. I couldn't believe it. Like, honestly, I couldn't believe it's it. It's insane. Heading out, I gotta get some boxes so we can keep moving. And then I'm having uh, lunch with my friend Brad, who has been in these vlogs. Got it. Back at it with Brad, brother. You know it. Just having a little talk, catching up here. All right, that was a, was a good talk. Um, oh, we, I podcasted it, like our conversation we had. Talked about a lot of different things. Talked about um, Brad's business, talked about traveling. Talked about diet, all all kinds of different things. It's a good talk. Um, I podcasted. I put the link. I put the link to the box. I would. I put the link to the podcast down in the description. And I'm gonna try to go get some boxes from some I don't know somewhere. Whoever has boxes, found some boxes. They're let me take these. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and. Oh my god, it's so freaking windy outside. I don't know if you can see them. You see all the clouds coming in? There's so much wind going outside and the boxes were blowing everywhere. Like, one of the boxes almost flew out on the car driving behind me. I almost, I almost hit it. <laughs> Hello. I saw, I saw that one when he found me. Damn. Who bribed you with money? Alright, what just happened? Oh, we were hiding in the closet. Yeah, cause, Cause Cameron just came. Mason was hiding right here and I was sitting down there. And then he was recording a little bit of it, and then he put, right, right when Cameron opened the closet, he he put it down. That's when I started recording, but I don't know. Bye, treadmill. Huh? There's so much shit I'm like keeping. I took all the stars off of my room. You know those yeah, ones that glow. And I took some action figures. <laughs> this will probably be the last time you see this room, like normal, like with all my stuff in it. <laughs> so sad, bro. I'm taking everything I can out of this and just. I'm recreating this room at Gages, bro. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm gonna have to leave that desk behind. You're gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna have to figure out this carpet, like what carpet this is. Yeah. <laughs> gonna have to. Honestly, dude, I swear Just they, take like, a little corner of it so you can go cover it. Yeah, yeah. You got anything like, exactly like this? <laughs> Taking the stars. Chia seeds, what the hell? Can't cheese that? No, dude. I take that. Huh? Like, I eat that. Oh, I'll swing it. It's natural. It's like good natural energy. I put it in my protein shakes. And, and my oatmeal sometimes. Sometimes I just eat it straight up. It smells like seeds. <laughs> hmm? It smells like seeds. 
Doesn't really taste like anything. It just tastes like healthy. <laughs> Try some. This is exactly this what you think. This is Tom's favorite food. <laughs> God, I love it! I'm gonna fucking miss this house so much, dude. Yeah, I was actually thinking in class about how much I was gonna miss this room. I was thinking, I don't know why, but I just have this really, really vivid memory of us playing with marbles on the floor. And oh, yeah. really bright in here. I think of that a lot. I, mean, I remember the marbles, yeah, definitely. I remember we were going, like, we're twirling with the marbles. We were twirling it in, like, a thing. I don't know. A bowl. It was just like a random bowl and we were spinning them around. Yeah, yeah. And then we heard a scream. That's why you probably remember it vividly. We heard like a, the pipes and you got freaked out. Yeah. Fuck! And then we played tapes and we'd get action figures. Dude, I would, honestly, I wish it was socially acceptable to play with action figures nowadays. I still <laughs> would. Action figures are the shit. And then we'd like, I, the toy box. Are you guys gonna take that? Or give it to like Goodwill or something? Probably, yeah. Where is the toy box? Like if, they, if I still had the... Where's, uh, where's that toy box? I'm sure there's something that I'm going to want. It's so empty. Alright, me and Cameron are just playing a little Super Smash Bros. Um, we fa officially have decided this controller is defective, it seems. Like, the actual rubber on the GameCube controller has came off. And then... This one's still on. This controller is just so much better. When you play a high level game like Super Smash Bros. Melee, which if you don't know Super Smash Bros. Melee is super competitive. It's one of the most well made games of all time, like best fighter game of all time. And like the actual community around it is like super big. With a lot of professional players playing it at esports events. And uh, so we're playing this. We're really good at the game. Um, just playing a little bit of that. And just kind of moving stuff out of the house. Alright, we just put new batteries. This is literally the childhood toy right here. We just put new batteries and I'm gonna see if it works. So, let's. Boom, boom, boom. Did you put it in right? <sighs> yeah, I think so. Is there an on switch? Right? Check for an on switch, bro. <laughs> hey, well, it's, it's going. Oh, yeah, road again. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, we're looking at to be on the road again. That's crazy. <laughs> it works. I love singing songs and music with it. Would it have like three songs to it? Bro, that's like my childhood right there. <laughs> Holy shit, that is a trip. <laughs> Alright, Cameron and them just head out. Um, pack my bag for the gym. Gotta get a lift, gotta get a lift, gotta get a lift. Um, yeah. I just had the biggest scare with this camera right here. As you guys just saw, I was running on the treadmill and then it just flew off. Um, and I picked it up and the lens wasn't retracting. And that usually means for a camera, like, you got an error. And um, I was like, shit, I just broke my camera. And uh, even the screens kind of popped out on it a little bit too. Um, but I was, I was just trying, I was like, shit, I just broke my camera. Like, pretty upsetting. Um, so yeah, I, held, I held down like these three buttons and then I, I like kind of just knocked on the camera with the lens facing down. So I went like this. Like say that's the camera, I just went like this. And luckily I heard the, the lens retract and then it turned on and I was like, shit, hell yeah. I'm honestly a pretty destructive person. Um, just look at my phone. Uh, <laughs> Pretty I try not to be a destructive person, but I tend to break a lot of things I own. A lot of hardwares and a lot of girls' hearts. Just kidding. Um, have a nice night.
friend got in a giant car crash. I'll put a picture in. And uh, I don't know. I feel so bad for him. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna meet up with him. Talk to him a little bit. It's awful. 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 Crying on me right there. And I got this. You know, this kid I just met. Yeah. Shay's boyfriend. And he's over here. I was like, you're being real strong. And I was like, because he was. I mean, he was kind of out of it too. But there's glass everywhere. They're barefooted on the ground. Right. I didn't. I didn't even Fuck. see him being barefoot. They probably had glass in their feet. And what was on top of all my pile of shit in my car was the Bible on top. Perfect. Oh, oh my god. And there's a big old white sign right there. Did she says, take a picture of it? She said she got it for me. And there's a big old white sign by that church right where that ditch is where mm -hmm. I've landed in. It says God bless the people or something right there. And that Dude, guy hit me and went right up Dude, to the church. That's honestly, a testimony, that's bro. Honestly, that's honestly God. Look at you. I'm just so glad you're safe, dude. Holy. <clears throat> well, um, I kind of just listened to my friend Bailey um, explain. It's car crash story, and um, I don't know. It sounded aw It sounded terrifying. Um, out of the four people that are in the car, the worst injury was like Bailey's girlfriend only had a cut on her finger, and that's just a band aid. And um, another crazy detail that Bailey said that he in his in his left hand in the door pocket next to him, um, he had the Bible there, and he looked over, and the Bible was just stacked upon everything else. And uh, they also crashed right next to a church. And uh, I don't know, it just it was crazy. It was a, it was a great story. Um, I'm glad he, you know, I'm glad he's okay.